More than five schools participated in the event this year, which culminated at the Camille Henry Memorial School, where information booths were set up by the Dental and Nutrition Unit. Enthusiastic students from the various participating schools gathered and listened attentively to the presentations on nutrition and dental health. This latest activity comes ahead of the proposed ban on highly sweetened beverages in schools. With the drive on eliminating the amount of sugary drinks at school, we want to highlight the types of foods and drinks that are being consumed on a daily basis at the schools. And studies have shown that most times consuming sugary drinks and sugary foods, persons tend to be obese. So we want the children along with their parents to be aware of how they can calculate the amount of sugars in the drinks that they're consuming on a daily basis. The Ministry of Health is preparing for a nationwide campaign aimed at educating the populace on label reading. The children have been surprised as to the amount of sugars that are in the drinks that they consume. So what we did, we allowed them to read the label, go through the label, and we asked them to look out for the amount of sugars, and we, in, we divided it by four to calculate the amount of teaspoons, tablespoons that's in there. And surprisingly, go like, they go like, wow, so much sugar. The dental hygiene unit presented on the theme, Stop the Acid Attack. Everybody has plaque in their mouth, everybody has bacteria in their mouth, but whenever you eat and you don't take care of stuff, you have that um, chemical reaction happens where an acid is formed. That acid for 20 minutes hits on your teeth and starts the decay process. We want our children to make better, healthier choices, so everything we have there is tailored just for that. The dental unit is urging parents to encourage their children to make healthier choices. We just have to continue with programs such as this in every single way. Every time there's a program, we have to capitalize on it so that we can put that message out there so that our children can be healthier, then oral healthier, I should say, as well as physically healthier. The fun run walk culminated with healthy foods and more physical activity put on by local fitness instructors and a student dance group. Reporting for the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, I'm Sans Justin.